What's happening, everybody? Hi, right, we're in the town of Elmore, Oklahoma right now. Uh, eastbound on Highway 29, State Route 29, that is. Uh, I'm not sure where Elmore is. It is south of Oklahoma City. I'm heading east toward I-35, I I mean. I-35 is the north-south corridor that goes between Dallas, Fort Worth, and Oklahoma, MKC. Uh, I'm going to be making a delivery to the Walmart Distribution Center in yeah, Falls Valley. Uh, about 10 miles or so out, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, it's going to be a Love's truck stop that I'm going to stop at first. Uh, probably get some cash because I... Um, I heard a rumor they charged for parking on that over that dirt lot across the street from the DC. And I'm not really expecting that I'll be able to find parking at Love's at this hour, but maybe I'll get lucky. We'll see what happens. I'll go there and see what's up. Uh, if there's no parking available, no problem. I'll just uh, get some cash both for parking and for uh, trailer washout something and head across the freeway. There's a casino there I can probably I can park in if there's spots open there. And if not I got the dirt lot across from Walmart. So we'll see uh, one of those uh, one or more of those places there. Followed by the delivery which isn't until tomorrow morning for me but of course it'll be in the same video for you. Elmore City is the last town I go to on this highway before I hit I-35. Uh, yeah. I think it's somewhere in five, a five plus mile range from from that from that town to I-35. I, I don't know the exact distance, but it's not that far. Actually, a road up here that you kind of kind of cut across if you're in a car, but you can't do if you're in a truck. At least not legally. So there's a couple roads you can take up here that'll uh, that can get you up to the Walmart DC. But I know the first one, which is right after this right curve coming up. Uh, that is Airport Road. That's actually the street that our that's what it's called. I, I get this Walmart mixed up with other one, uh, Walmart DC sometimes with the street name, but I know there's a street up here right after this curve. You can get to the DC from it, but it's not a truck legal route. You yeah, can only go in a car. That would be because I, I think it's residential stuff, or I don't know if they're even residential stuff. I don't really see much. I don't really see anything over there. It'd be nice if I could use it. Or it's not that this curve, but uh, it's one a little further up here. opportunity to hang out with my boys uh, on the way over here. Saw them a couple uh, about two or three hours ago. It's nice, always nice. I also, also got a chance to drop off my son's beds while I was at it. Just been having to ship it out. So I can get used to this kind of a thing. delivering at 6 a.m. tomorrow. We're checking in at 5. Uh, current time is 7.13 p.m. 
so uh, a little bit less than 10 hours from now is when I'll be checking in. Safe rooms and storm shelter. Okay, so I just cried, I just passed the street. I wasn't even paying attention. I was basically looking over there, I think, at that, that lot when I passed by the street that goes up to the Walmart DC. person up in front of me is a little on the slow side, so I'm just taking back here. Be on I-35 soon enough. We'll be uh, northbound on 35. And I think it's the very first exit after I'm on 35 where the Webs and the Walmart DC are at. So, uh, I don't have the pre-plan on my uh, side of my truck or on my uh, Qualcomm, but uh, our, plan, our weekend planner did say he was going to have me uh, pick up a load out of our Oklahoma City drop yard that somebody else is going to be dropping later, either I guess later today or sometime before I get there. And yeah, tentatively, be, I'll, I'll be picking that load up and taking it to Tomlinson, Arizona. I don't know which customer near in Tomlinson yet, uh, but it's, that's where it's going. If you're not familiar with where Tomlinson is, it's on the west side of Phoenix. I was just over in that area last week. Uh, as you guys might have seen, I had that delivery in Phoenix and in the pickup in Goodyear. The pilot in Avondale that I tend to do a lot of uh, footage at is right next to, you know, right on the edge of where Avondale and uh, Tolleson meet up. Kind of a secluded property there. Kind of a really small hill and then flat. I mean, you can see the house going over there, going by the driveway, but as you drive a mile, you really can't really see anything, though, with the trees and all that. I've always kind of like that, where you get the kind of the impression of privacy, even if it's not really that private.
I was listening to the Nausea game, but I was having difficulty getting it to stay on as I was coming across this highway. Uh, but the Giants, unfortunately, they weren't winning. They were down 4-1 to one early in the game, but I said it's early in the game, though. No Dodgers. Hopefully they pull it off. over a decap truck there in that lot. Okay, this street here is another one that I could take up to the Walmart DC Indian Meridian Road. Uh, actually, I don't even see a sign there saying no trucks allowed. Um, I don't know if that's a truck legal road. I didn't see any signage saying that you can't be on there though, but it does go right over to the east side of the lot. But right. just as easy, it's not very far down the road here. Get on 35 and run at higher speed. That was a 45 zone right there. slow. I swore I was in a 65 zone and even when I was doing like 63, 62, 63 earlier I was gaining on them so I backed off a little bit so I don't have to deal with them. problem for me all the way up to the receiver, aren't they? No, nope, no, nope, maybe not. They bypassed the on-ramp, so even better. Alright, trucks unlimited. First exit will be uh, Indian Meridian Road. Or airport or whatever it's called, I don't know. I know Indian Meridian Road is the technical address for the Walmart DC, but well, whatever this exit is that I'll be getting off at, whatever that street's called, is the one that the truck entrance is on, though. Morning. Um, 
probably get my trailer washed out right across the street. I have to call a number to have the person come over to do it, though. The guy who owns that lot, or works on that lot, whatever, is a nice guy in the hospital, but at the same time, like, uh, I mean, they'll actually offer to take you to, you know, like, into town. Or that is Airline Road. That's what I thought. Uh, yeah, he'll even offer to take you into town to... Uh, to do stuff, I go to that no shopping or whatever, but uh, as far as food that he has available to serve there, it's like, uh, it's a hurry. I'm not interested, it's uh, it's all like frozen, whatever kind of stuff. It's, it's nice, it's nice to have that option, and uh, he's, he's doing a noble thing, but uh, charging for parking there so I'm gonna make sure I have cash on the, on me before I go over there if I even have to. We'll check gloves first though. Uh, so either way I'm gonna have to stop there. If there's parking there, great, I'll, I'll park there. If there's not, I'll just go to the fuel island, use the ATM inside and get some cash. Can't really see what the, uh, all the truck parking at the casino is on the other side, so I can't really see if there's anything going on there. This is a holiday weekend, though, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that'll translate to there being open spots over here at Love's. That way, if I want to use the restroom or something, there's restroom easily available. Uh, I'm not going to make bets of who I do. I see actually. I might actually see us one over there. Uh, oh, you cheater. It's, I was like, I thought I went into fifth gear, but I didn't really go into fifth. Yeah, there is a spot open over here. The question is, can I get to it before somebody else does? See what I can do. Go through the fuel, or yeah, go through the last, the last lane over here. And I'll circle around so I can see if I can hit that side. So, oh, there's, uh, I saw another spot open on the other side. So yeah, we're we're golden here. facing the wrong way to get to the one over there so I'll go for the one over here by the skill I see at least two or three spots open over here on this other side though first case I go back around and then circle back around oh yeah there's several spots open here I'm going to have to do a modified setup here, I think, because I don't think I'm going to have room for my tractor to do a, a standard 45. So, this guy's going to have to wait. Uh, and I'm kind of stuck in no man's land in a bit. Rotating out in front of the spot as much as I can.
Okay, I know you guys don't rave about my backing skills, but this is nothing that uh, any of you guys can't do. So, uh, so all I really did was, uh, I mean, it's just kind of some hand-eye coordination and not, if you're a rookie driver or new to the, or maybe you aren't even in the trick industry yet, but going to, uh, the biggest problem I run into with, uh, with rookie backers, we'll just put it, is trying to apply the, the methods that get taught in CDL school backings versus what's done in the real world. Real world, you don't do all or nothing. You always, uh, as you might, as you might well, watch this video again, back it up, and watch how I did this. Uh, I tried to mainly, I, I positioned myself in a spot where my tandems are out in front of this guy's spot here. And I'm looking, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm also looking at now what my off track is between my tractor and my trailer because that tells me how fast the trailer is going to rotate. And I want the trailer, uh, the tandems to roll in this direction as much as I can. Um, I don't want to come in too heavy on this guy over here, but I, yeah, because I want to rotate my trailer out in front of the spot, about 10 feet out in front of the spot, not straight into the gap between these two guys. If you go right in between these two guys and you come in at a bad angle and the tandems are all the way forward, this guy gets hit. And I don't play that way. And I don't want you to play that way, so keep that in mind, all right? Rotate the trailer out in front of... Yeah, yeah, so where the nose of these two are at, go out about 10 feet or so. And try to rotate the trailer, you know, the back of the trailer, not the tandems, but the back of the trailer. Uh, around that part now and you're gonna have to keep working the steering though um, uh, varying amounts of left or whatever or take out your left uh, it'll seem like going right but in reality it's putting in more left or taking out left and you're never actually steering right if you're doing it correctly uh, or if you have a good setup I mean so uh, rehashing the, what you just saw there tandems were over here by uh, out in front of this guy's spot and uh, they were actually out a little bit further than I uh, than I would ideally like them but I also did the I had to do a modified setup there as you saw because I didn't have room to do a normal 45 so I did what you uh, I don't even know what I would really call that one uh, 90 45 or something <laughs> Something along that line, though, and it's just a matter of just trying to get the trailer to roll. Yeah, don't rotate. You don't want it to pivot if you can. Get it to roll, but keep rolling. Uh, keep aiming it toward that spot out in front of your spot, and then just start working it in. And then it's it's just a matter of timing the the chase it in part. Uh, I just happened to do it by luck this time. It's. I might have made it look like it was real super easy to get in here and like I'm really freaking good at this stuff, but in reality, I, I miss time stuff a lot. So um, just because I know what I'm doing doesn't mean that I, I do every backing perfect and I don't want anybody else to think that they can do them perfectly either. So hope that uh, kind of covers that. Uh, I say I always have people wanting to, like, like, you know, watching my channel for backing tips and stuff so and that which is good it's kind of a specialty of mine I like to say but anyway I'm gonna I'm not gonna ramble on this um, hope you got an idea on uh, I mean just keep watching this video over and over and because this was a perfect backing but like I said it's it's eight part skill and two part luck or, or something like that you know or out of ten parts 80% skill and 20% luck with yeah, the, the setup itself was where the all of it was at. I stopped my setup where I thought was most ideal based on my experience and uh, What I know what the trainers have uh, what I know of how the trainer is going to react based on both the position relative to the spot the angle relative to the spot and the angle relative to the tractor all three of those things affect how the trailer actually uh, uh, Behaves when you're actually backing up all right, so keep those in mind. Um, anyway, we'll have some more footage for you guys in the morning. Um, so stay tuned for all that, and we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, it's time to go make a delivery now. It's a Walmart, you see, so it's pretty standard, but I'll just show you from here to there anyway. 
Actually, uh, the bay did not even uh, doing this video you because... You have zero hours and 56 minutes of remaining drive time. Yeah, I know I still have drive clock, but I'm still going to PC over there because I could have been there last night to, uh, if I would have been allowed in there. And it's literally across the freeway from here. Alright, so... Get over there, lock in, and then get back out, and in it. Turn the headlights off, because you see this guy up here in front of me, uh, trying to back into a spot, and I'm pointing at him. And I stay out of the way, so he can do his, so he has room for his, uh, that's a lot of steering, then. overkill I think okay, he's back, you know, straight back well enough I guess roll the window down that way I can tell if he's hitting his brakes I mean if he's popping his brakes set his brakes but uh, but I actually looked though and uh, kind of looked like he was pretty well in the center of his spot so I don't think that it was pretty sure he was done see this is such a convenient spot they even have signs right here in front of the exit Say in the Walmart distribution center, turn right. side as soon as I'm across will be the casino there's a little bit of truck parking there what are you doing truck and follow the curve to the right and there's a line of trucks trying to get into the DC right now it looks like number of trucks trying to get in there which kind of makes me wonder how expeditiously the guards are, are uh, getting people in is this guy going across or is he leaving trucks trying to get out of there at the same time that we have all this line of trucks trying to go in. Alright, so... Yeah, there's room for me to get out of the street, so... Oh, another JCT. Alright guys, we're all checked in now. Um, as soon as the other JCT finishes checking in, we'll be uh, on our way in. Um, apparently they have a new rule about uh, having vests on in the yard. Because that's what the guard told me, uh, is make sure I have my vest on once I'm, uh, while, I'm, while I'm in the yard. 
that's not normally how it's uh, uh, that's not normally how it's done at uh, Walmart DC's but uh, so this must be a new thing going on here I don't know I'm curious if it's uh, Walmart wide or just this particular DC or whatever uh, all right I'm gonna be getting door 110 which is not that far away from the receiving office which I don't mind walking I mean, it's a little bit of exercise doesn't do any uh, doesn't do any harm at all all right so he's getting in now in the door look at his spit whatever turn on and close that does he have his lights on I'm gonna have to let him know his his uh you know yeah it's This thing is intermittent. Come on. Bouncing. Can't turn my freaking CB back on and get the, the volume adjusted because the damn bouncing. Ah, uh, yeah, he's gonna need to shim that trailer. It's, I mean, uh, look how much it's, uh, that's one of those he's probably uh, noticing, uh, probably, even if he pre-tripped it, it probably looked like it was fine. But then he goes to drive it, the bouncing around might be just enough to loosen it. So I'm about to let him know when we're checking in, uh, hey, uh, that, that his, uh, I think he needs to shim his pigtail. Is he not getting a doctor yet? Why is he coming up like that? Kind of makes me think he's not, he doesn't have a doctor assignment yet. Yeah. Normally you'd just be going straight up. Who is that? 4034, eh? Docking in right by this guy here, or oh, wait, no. no, I'm in. Okay, so I'm going into the door that this uh, this other guy's in right here. He's backing into his trailer right now, so. <laughs> Make sure I'm not in anybody's way. Uh, yeah, he's backing into a drop spot, so I'm gonna have to wait for this guy to pull out of the door because he's in the door that I'm assigned to. Make sure I'm not in anybody else's way.
think that, yeah, he's getting ready to pull away now, so. Come on, dude, just leave your tent on somewhere else. I'm waiting for your door. You're not talking in again, are you? No, because I said I just watched you hit back up. I'm holding someone else up. I'm getting held up. This is one of those. Do your shit away from the dock door. So if I'm sitting here this long, it's because I'm waiting on a door. That's why that he's uh, I'm waiting for him to leave. As soon as he's out of there, I'm going into his. Ah, uh, all right. That yeah. makes sense, man. Yeah, I was, I'm a little annoyed with how long it took him, too. I know. I'm <laughs> waiting on this door right here. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was probably in your way. Sorry about that. That's okay. See what I mean? It's, I mean, this guy's trying to get docked in. I'm trying to get docked in. There's another guy over there trying to dock, uh, coming up now. And the whole, the whole process is getting held up by... to keep rotating toward the guy on my other on my sight side when uh, my tenums are already closer to right where I guess I wasn't far over but alright there we go the tenums get where I want them tell that DOT Foods is not is not the most experienced guy in the world himself. One, he left his headlights on while I'm trying to back in and he's pointing right at me and you saw I was looking in the mirror that's on his side. Two, he's uh, he just waited till right now to open his trailer doors. All right, so I'll have some more footage for you guys when we're empty. All right, guys, we're all done here. All right, we got 7:10 local time, so not too bad. A couple hours, and actually, I was out here talking to another JCT driver for a while.
You have eight hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Alright, so let's pull forward. Uh, let me get out of the door at least because I see a couple of trucks there and I don't know if uh, either of them are waiting for my door in particular. So, I mean, I gotta leave my doors open anyway to, you know, before I check out, but I don't uh, I can make sure there's nothing in my trailer also uh, after I'm out of the way. better yet, you know what, she did say I was all good, uh, I should have on the proof of delivery thing too that, but they, you know, they didn't give me one, okay, never mind, uh, I will need to get a trailer wash out and fill it up, with fuel. Uh, I might have to go over to the Blue Beacon over by Pilot off of Morgan Road to get my wash out. Uh, I don't really much feel like dealing with this place over here. Certainly, you know, it's kind of early and then uh, they, they do cash only anyway, so I don't, I don't feel like I didn't bring cash. I didn't bring cash because I'm not a fan of keeping cash on me. space there so they can do what they got to do without my noise and don't need to be that close to them anyway. the actual pre-plan in but I know he was uh, he was that uh, he did want to put the that, uh, that load on me so I'm assuming that he already it's already accepted it's just a uh, matter of when I send my empty call I should get the, the load assignment in for the other load that'll be in our Oklahoma City drop yard um, that's uh, just not too far south of where the TA off of uh, Exit 142, uh, uh, why am I forgetting the name of that street? I know the name of the street, I just forget it. There's a TA off exit 140 and another TA off exit 142. The one that's at 142, uh, that, that exit there is where our drop yard is. Uh, you might have seen me a couple times there if you if you watch me a long time. Uh, some of you others might be newer, that's kind of... Alright, so I'm gonna check out and get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna get up and out of the way so this guy can do his thing and then I'm gonna hand jam my empty call. I don't call this one a day. Oh, this guy's already... He already closed his doors, so... Let's slide over here. So he can go by me. I didn't send my empty call yet. I was just trying to get out of the dock door and out of the way. Alright, we go. Got plenty of room here.
All right, so yeah, maybe I, I might just go ahead and do that. Head up to uh, Morgan Road. Might need a center knot. Morgan Road and uh, the, in Oklahoma City on the west side, and just go ahead and get reefer fuel and wash out the trailer there, and then go drop it. And hopefully by then I have a load my uh, load assignment. All right, so, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, that way I go ahead and change my SD card out and uh, prepare for the next one, right? Uh, or actually, no. Uh, no, you know, uh, alright, never mind. Anyway, whatever the case, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys later. Um, have some more footage for you guys, uh, I don't know, maybe Oklahoma City. Alright, so I'll see you guys then. Thanks.